Hi, Talion here. Today I would like to show you some really original effect called Satin Glass. Let's start with a simple shape that becomes our background. Now, let's draw a rectangle, make it tall, change its uh, fill into white and decrease its opacity. Obviously, we need to add an effect, background blur, increase its value to around 200 and you already see that this glass surface is starting to look well. Now let's duplicate that and reduce the width. We will add drop shadow, let's make it bigger and change the offset. Okay. What I don't like about that is that it looks very dirty. To make it look well, simply change the blending mode to overlay. Much better. Now let's take care of this fill. It won't be solid, it will be a gradient. We need to change its angle. Okay. Let's press shift align it and from that side it will be black from that side it will be white let's reduce opacity a bit and add two points that will help us to create emboss effect we always need to play a bit with that Let's chill with results. In our case, I guess this should be quite good. Okay, see, we have this nice emboss and the shadow from that side. Let's increase it. Let's increase the opacity also a bit. And increase it here. And as you can see, it already looks really well. I can eventually reduce the opacity a bit of the entire layer to create a more subtle effect. Let's group those glass layers and simply duplicate them. Press Command D to repeat. And as you can see, we have just achieved our effect. Really simple and looks very original. Let me know if you like it. If you are interested in Figma tutorials like this, you may also visit my blog to check how to create spatial glass effect, known from Apple Vision Pro. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe button and like this video. See you soon.